Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. I am so glad you're here today. We are gonna be doing spring cleaning and spring decorating. So I'm gonna be getting the Easter stuff out, pastel colors, and I'm gonna liven this space up a bit. I have lots of blue and gray tones in the house and I love when spring and summer comes because that's the time I can throw in the pastel pinks and my aquas, although I have aqua all the time because y'all know that's my favorite color. But we are gonna do that today. I'm gonna be cleaning the kitchen and the living room and my bedroom. I was gonna try to do the dining room today, but unfortunately, my husband started painting the patches on the ceiling from all of the renovation work, and it looks like we're gonna have to take the paint through the entire house. I'm not gonna lie. I was a little bummed about it, but you know what? It is what it is. I'll show you if you can see it. Can you see the variation of color? So like, okay, so this is all the new paint. This is the old paint. This was all the new patchwork and we had all the arches up there. So I was gonna do the dining room. I was so excited to get the cube system back in here, but it's off limits because the table is there. However, I'm so excited because the countertops came in, you guys. Look at this, I am so, oh my gosh, I am in love. I also wanted to let you guys know that today's video is in collaboration with my sweet friend, Adeline Zook. We have done quite a few videos together because I have so much respect for her and I just love her. She has been such a blessing to my life. She has got the cutest little girls, three of them, and she is an amazing mama doing all things, cleaning and cooking, motherhood lifestyle, ton of DIYs and everything in between. You guys, if you haven't checked out her channel yet, after you watch this video, I would love for you to head over that way and let her know that Lynn sent you. And if you're coming from Adeline's channel, thank you so much for being here. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button before we go any further. We have similar content on our channels and I would love to have you join my YouTube family. Look at all of the specks of like glitter or I don't know what never that up, is never down, never. Like a theme in a song, clever. Feeling so for your viewing satisfaction, I'm gonna start in the kitchen. It's not too terribly messy in here, but I have some deep cleaning that needs to get done to do the appliances, the stove, and back here before we add the new um, pieces in here because this got moved up. So I'm gonna take care of all of this today. Tons of stuff on the countertops and bar, like always. Laundry. Guys, I am loving the way the kitchen has turned out. As you can see, the countertops are in as I showed you and I am just so obsessed with them. It is a lot of white, I will be honest, and I wasn't expecting to have the island white, but those were the only, that and espresso and a dark gray were the only colors offered. So I went ahead and decided to do the white because I'll just go ahead and paint that later on. Um, and then as the walls go, they're very white as well. But if you remember the drama with the couch and having to paint all the walls, I did not realize we would be doing the kitchen. So yeah, it's a lot of white, but I mean, it's really wide open and it will show very well when we go to sell the house, which that has been put on the back burner. We were planning on doing that around June, but I just don't feel in my heart that that's a good idea right now. And I would really like to enjoy the kitchen. Um, some things didn't turn out exactly the way I had planned. So plan B, we will not be selling right now. So um, if we decide to stay here long term, I will be painting the walls again. And you guys know how much I love to paint. We can just insert some sarcasm right there. Do not like to paint, not one bit. Um, but if we're gonna stay here, I will need to do something because that's a lot of white. The walls are just not gonna work with the white cabinets, or maybe it will, maybe it'll grow on me. I don't know yet, but I like color, so we shall see. I watch you as you dry. Do you know I'm looking? 
Do you know how much I love you? You put my favorite song on. I put my feet up, and we just sing along. And I can't. The kitchen wasn't very messy today, and so I'm just gonna put some, what I need to into the dishwasher. You guys don't see it, but every so often in some of the clips, you'll see Hazel at my feet. She wants to lay down, and she wants someone to lay with her. So she will follow me around until I sit and she'll get into my lap, which is so sweet. But today I was really, really determined to stay focused and motivated. So poor little thing had to end up just going and laying by herself. I'm going to use my favorite countertop spray. This is the Wyman's brand. You can get it from Target, Amazon, or Walmart. And I love it. By far my favorite thing to use on any granite or stone. Just to wake you up When I dance around I can't help but feeling Just loving this moment Can we stay here forever? I'm loving this moment Can we stay here together? If I could stop the time Don't you know that I would Hey guys, I wanted to hop on here real quick and say if you are enjoying today's video, would you give it a thumbs up? And it would mean the world to me if you would go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you aren't subscribed already, little things you can do that just show me that you are liking what I am posting and it is a blessing to my family. So just wanted to hop on here real quick and say that. Let's get back to cleaning. I'm going to use my stainless steel e-cloth after I sprayed everything down I realized that all you need is water with these cloths which is why I love them so much but I forgot so it got double clean Josiah was so proud of the little mountains that he made. I thought they were so cute and I love all the colors. So I put that up there and then we get the kids these little magnets. They love to play with them. And Chris wrote a very sweet message. There's my little buddy back there. She is loving following me around and she loves this vacuum. I'm so glad this Dyson is working. If your Dyson ends up breaking, just look for a center around you. They fixed this for free because it was in the warranty and I believe it's a three year warranty. I'm not 100% sure, but I am very thankful to have it back because as much as I love the water vacuum, it is nice just to be able to pull something out real quick. I'm going to put my barkeeper's friend cleaner on here. This is for the cooktop and then I will also use the powder for the sink.
I love cleaning the sink. Let me know what your very most favorite cleaning is in your house. I love the sink. I love deep cleaning. I think that is by far my favorite. And then organizing. I love decluttering and organizing. Whatever it is, I like a big transformation. So if that's deep cleaning or organizing, that's my favorite. Just picking up here and there, no, not really, don't really care about that. But being able to step back and see the transformation brings me so much joy. I'm going to use this opportunity to clean the little soap dispenser tray. I got both of these dispenser and the tray. I only am using one of the dispensers, but it was from Target. I believe it was $20 for two of these really cool looking dispensers and the tray, but I'm going to use some of the Mrs. Myers mint, mainly because I like the color. I mean, the smell is fine, but I just like the aqua around it. So that's what I'm going to use. And then I'm going to clean this little um, marble looking sponge or scrub holder. And I got that from Marshall's. Moving on to the cooktop, I'm just gonna put a little magic eraser and go in circular motions just to get any of like the main stuff off. And then I will show you the scraper I'm gonna use to really clean it good. I'm using my microfiber cloth that I had gotten from Marshalls. I've talked about them quite a bit and I'm going to clean everything in the microwave. I didn't spray anything. I didn't need to. These cloths are amazing. I'm using this scraper here. It is a safe scraper. So it's like, looks like a razor blade, but it's actually plastic. And I found it from Amazon. I do have it in my Amazon favorites. It might be under favorites or kitchen essentials. I can't remember, but it is there if you guys are looking for something because I don't like having razor blades, but that is honestly what works best on these cooktops. So this has been great. Just using a little window cleaner, glass cleaner, and I'm gonna wipe all of these canisters down. Obviously not going inside of them, but just on the outside to make them look really sparkly.
time to start picking up the living room. You can see Ruby is not even bothered. She stays there the whole time and sleeps while I start cleaning everything up. I'm gonna put away any of the laundry that I folded. This particular day, the night before, I woke up at 3 a.m. I could not sleep. So I came out and folded Chris's laundry and paid some bills and did all the things. I don't know why, if there's any time that I wake up in the middle of the night, it's always around three which is really frustrating, but I finally, I laid there for a while and then I finally got up around four and that's when I did everything and went back to bed about 5.38. I remember looking at the clock, laid down and I don't think I really fell back asleep, but I just laid there and then came to at 7.15 to get the kids up and ready for school. So that is what I did. So I had some laundry that I needed to put away and I had a lot of things on my mind I sometimes just wake up with like all these thoughts and that is when having a notepad next to your bed is so, so beneficial. It's like a brain dump and it helps just kind of clear space and allow you to finally settle. So as you can see, I put this basket here. My husband and my boys hate it, but I don't like seeing all of their game system. So I got this basket from Hobby Lobby and it fits in there perfect. They can lift it up when they want to put their games in it. So I feel like it is a win-win. I'm going to decorate these sconces, but for today, I'm just gonna clean them out. I think I'm gonna put some really pretty flowers in there, maybe orchids and some Easter eggs. I love decorating those for the holidays. When we cleaned the kids' room out, there were a ton of Legos, as always. So I'm gonna buy two more under the bed storage containers to put them in because with the bunk beds down, um, there's just no room. I did a whole video on that and I will have that up very soon. So make sure you are subscribed to see that. It'll be a total room transformation for spring and I love the way everything turned out. I'm going to open the blinds in my room. This room does not get a lot of good light, so I struggle with the angles and trying to get good footage in here, but I'm going to put away the clothes. Um, you guys know when I clean, I will just put whatever needs to go in the room in there. Sometimes I will throw it in there because the more I stay on task, the better, because there's so many times, there have been so many times where I will go into a room to put clothes away and then I notice that's a mess and I start to clean there. And then I go into another room to put something away and that's a mess and I clean there. And then there's all of these rooms that have things everywhere. So when I'm cleaning and when I'm tidying, I will just throw whatever goes in the room and just put it in there really quick so I can get back to what I was doing and that way I can get something from start to finish completely done. First you were so easy, but now I can't even get through to your mind. Cause you don't wanna listen. I know everything about you. 
Have you guys been enjoying all the spring cleaning videos? I know YouTube has had so many of them and I have done quite a few myself. So if you guys want to see last week's video, that was a spring cleaning. I think I've done about three so far and I will have the playlist in my description box. So definitely check that out. Lots of deep cleaning, lots of fun cleaning. So um, my very first spring cleaning was about three hours in the bathroom. I mean, I got every crevice. So if you need some bathroom cleaning motivation or you just want some upbeat music to listen to while you're cleaning, I'm gonna have that video in the description box and in the cards above. Check it out. It is a long one. It's 45 minutes of really upbeat music and lots of motivation. I feel like our doors and the trim in our house are always so neglected. So I took this opportunity to clean it with my little Swiffer here. You can see how dirty it is. And this was new. I got this new Swiffer on this little attachment today. I mean, the dust in this house is so unreal. I purchased some new pillow covers from Amazon. They are already in my Amazon favorites for my favorites category. I love these pillow covers. They're like velvet and they are 20 by 20. I believe it was $15 for two and I love them. This is the way you can change your decor on a budget. Just get pillow covers. You don't have to constantly buy new pillows and who has the space for all those pillows. As you can see, I have a navy blue cover on there right now. Um, another really good thing about these pillow covers is you can take them off and wash them. So that's kind of awesome. If you don't want to buy inserts, you can always go and scour the clearance sections. There's always clearance pillows and it doesn't matter what they look like because you're going to put a cover on it. I love the blush pink, or actually I would say this is maybe a petal pink, I'm not sure, but I love the soft tones of this on the bed with the gray flowers. I feel like it's just the perfect amount of softness and a little bit of sweetness in our bedroom. I'm gonna add some faux flowers, but for today I think this is just so sweet. I went to TJ Maxx and I got this pillow and this egg and I think they're so cute. I got these from Home Goods. Still keeping my blue. I love this bunny pillow. It's got a little cotton tail on the other side and of course my aqua egg. I'm going to fix up this little tray here, this wicker basket in behind there is from Home Goods. These little bunnies are antique and I got them on my birthday weekend about 2 years ago. I have always wanted to have an island I could decorate and this makes me so happy. I'm gonna wipe all of the sawdust off of this orchid because our carpenter actually was cutting the wood in our garage, don't ask me why. So I'll wipe it down and I'm gonna add my little bunnies. Everything here um, are things that I have had so I'm just bringing that out. Only thing that's new, as you saw, was the egg and the pillow. Bury yourself beneath
going to use this old blue ginger jar that I got from Goodwill $5 last year or maybe two years ago and add a bouquet of flowers from Michaels that I got last year. Every so often they'll sell these bouquets. They're already put together for $5 and I just love the sweet pink on it. There will be someone waiting down the line. This little trio is from Kirkland's. I purchased it last year. I know I always tell you when, but I just want you to know if you're interested in getting something, if it's still available. So this was last year and I used a coupon and I have been wanting these for so long and I love them. You look at me like I'm different. Still you stay cause you feel something real. Get so lost in my moments. Doesn't mean I don't need you. I, I, I love how everything came out. It's so sweet. I love the colors. It honestly makes me feel so much joy and so much happiness. Um, it just feels good to have some color in the house. It feels good to change up the decor a little bit. And I just love everything. I do. I just think it's so, so cute. I think I got this little bunny from Hobby Lobby or maybe TJ Maxx. I can't remember now, but I got it a while back. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope it gave you a ton of cleaning motivation as well as inspired you and just let you know that you're not alone in this motherhood or homemaker journey. I'm here with you and I am so thankful that you chose to watch today's video and you showed up for me and that just means the world to me. I hope that this decor brought you some joy and maybe inspired you to start decorating your house for spring. Um, I always try to show you how to do things on a budget. It's really important for me and I know it's probably important to you as well. So thank you all so much for being here. Don't forget to tell Adeline I said hello when you go and visit her channel. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! We're doing is bad. There's so many emotions. Sharing stories that we never had. Yeah, none is real. I think we're searching for reasons not to be like this.